What's wrong, Sabrina? He is calling me, and I can't. I told her I literally am free after six, but I can't. Uh oh. Sorry, but I have a let's play to do. <laughs> On the show, I'm sure she. The no. least cool thing you could ever say. Oh, Norm Macdonald is Scottish too. He's oh. from Canada, but what he's. The yeah, don't don't bring a. Oh. If you're talking about Norm Macdonald with me, you're really bringing a knife into a gunfight. <laughs> Do you guys remember the Just cartoon? Just a beam of gold. Do you guys what? remember the cartoon when uh, Daffy Duck is a Nazi? Yeah. I, I wasn't yeah. there when it premiered, but I've seen well. screenshots of it. Sure, um, so like, you know, who, what was Scrooge McDuck's political alliance, do you think, during World War II? Because he was Scottish, and I don't really know where they were, where they were at, but he's a greedy guy. Where they were at? Where they were at? Yeah, like what side they were on, you know, I don't really... No one talks about Scot Scotland in uh, World War II. Well, Scotland was part of the UK, so they were yeah. anti-Nazi. But That's I feel I like... But he's uh, a greedy guy, he's, he's working Yeah, no, I was about to say, Scrooge McDuck was like uh, George H.W. Bush's father, just like playing both sides, making <laughs> duck-related merchandise for like the Allies and the Axis powers. Oh, of course. I was on a bike ride earlier today and uh, I was just biking along in this parking lot, and then all of a sudden, I see a hawk. And I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. You know, you don't see those every day. And it was soaring around, and it goes into a tree, and it snaps a branch right off of the tree and starts flying with it in its, uh, in its talons. And I don't know what about it was so, like, enamored. I was so enamored with it. I was like, what the fuck is this hawk doing? Nice. Yeah, no, that's Wait, not can, you, can you just clarify, I, what is a hawk? What do you mean? I have no idea what that is. It's a, it's hawk? a bird. Like a bird? Yeah. What it's not that? as cool as an you're eagle. Fucking, you're fucking with me. You're fucking with me. No, I'm not. I have no you're idea what a hawk is. There's no way that you don't know what a hawk is. I know you're not an There's outside no kid, There's no conceivable- but... this is not like a fucking- like, I grew up in New York and... City. Yeah, but you would know- there's hawks in New York City. What? What are you talking about, Robbie? There's no. no it, there's this is this is a bit. This is a bit. There's no way. No, there's no actual no. way that you don't know what a fucking hawk is. I have no idea what a hawk is. You are a fucking liar. Not only a liar, but a fucking thief. Okay. I I I used to be a member of the Audubon Society. I can identify pigeons, bluebirds, okay, red think cardinals. Of a cooler, uh, small bird, I guess. There's a no uh, way. There's no way. They're though. not even that small. They're not even that small. You know they're what like a wolf a spider is, bird. but you don't know what a common hawk is. A yeah, common well. household hawk. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. I feel like they're more common than a wolf spider. Yeah, they're like the most common fucking bird. I really, there's no way. Am I getting Mandela? Is this like a fucking? Is this a bit? I really am concerned now because I don't even know you as a person anymore. How do you not know what a fucking hawk is? That's a fucking bird. Hawkeye? You've never heard of Hawkeye? You've never heard of- I, like... I thought it was a made-up word! You're no. lying! You're lying! No, Robbie, Robbie you're no. lying through your fucking little tiny little teeth. There's your no yellow way- teeth. There's no way My that, you that a hawk is made up. There's no way. There's Who do you no think? way. Do you think this Stan is... Lee's that creative? It didn't, he didn't even create uh, Spider-Man, for crying out loud. He invented what? spiders? No, I said he didn't. Robbie's gonna be like, wait, spiders? What are spiders? <laughs> Fuck it. I don't I know. Believe. Are spiders just smaller wolf spiders? I'm going to kill them. I'm just, I'm dead. I'm gone. I'm... <laughs> oh, God. You know what? I think we're kind of getting into a trap here. If you guys aren't gonna sit me down and explain what a hawk is. You are, you're Ooh, bullshitting. I can. You're I bullshitting. can't sit down and explain you're what a hawk is. A hawk is well, a anyway, anyway. Uh, yeah, Captain Falcon. <laughs> You know what Captain Falcon is? And you know what Falcons are, but you know what a fucking hawk is? Stephen Hawkins? What the fuck is going on? Oh what the fuck God. is going on? This is a bank, but who who would ever go to a bank with giant Hawks. hammers? <laughs> you've been to college, you've been into you've been into a, a university, you've paid money 
to learn things and you don't know what a fucking hawk is? I, I don't know why you guys are <laughs> pretending that I was a uh, avian biology major. Oh my god! The the Fenton dude, Fentanyl, whatever his name is, was just like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll fix this, and here I am, the money maker, the 1% having to do his work. That's true. I'm glad that we're playing bourgeois propaganda. <laughs> <laughs> Nazi cool. and bourgeois propaganda. <laughs> Disney is out of its mind. <laughs> I actually really want to uh, make a children's show where it's like they, they have characters named Plummy McPlummerson, and it's like, no, he's a stockbroker. <laughs> That'd be awesome, actually. <laughs> Teach kids not to uh, assume. Exactly. Disney, Bob Iger, if you're watching this, first off, please come on the show, and then second off, <laughs> please give me a show. I love this running gag that everyone that we mentioned has to come on the show. Everyone oh, it's not a gag. No, it's, it's real. It's not We're... a gag, it's a plea. Yeah, look at him, it's he's in this game too. It's our good friend, Donkey Kong. He's in every and our, game. Our, and our sworn enemy, Funky Kong. <laughs> he's coming, he's in the next uh, screen. We're gonna bring him down. Oh, that's cool, you could've, uh... Are these guys just infinite? Yeah, I think so. I rewatched uh, Perks of Being a Wallflower. I hadn't seen it since it, co it came out, and uh, I think that movie is pretty good, except for the part where he they're in the car and they're going over the the tunnel, and he's just like, "In that moment, we were we infinite. played Ducktales. <laughs> in that moment, we played Ducktales. I uh, it was just sort of a very like." We are infinite. I'm 16 and I figured it out. It's like, oh, buddy oh boy. I actually, I, I had know the, you uh... were molested and all that, but come on, man. <laughs> I was making myself laugh really, really oh. hard today, imagining um, 500 days of summer, but the couple, they bond. They still bond over the Smiths, but it's not because they like the music, it's because they like that Morrissey is like a right wing psycho. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 they're both like. You know, I like England the way it used to be, and then it's like, we're in love! Was that like the last coin or something? No? Okay. Is that the last straw? <laughs> Yo guys, this is the last <laughs> straw, I'm fucking done. That's a great name for a singles bar. Smashing success with the Let's Play channel. We have $434,000, so... Yeah, that we can convert money. from this game to real life currency. If I yes, go to the bank, which is and one show of the reasons that this file. game sold so well. One of the big things that Disney did was they said, however much money you get in the DuckTales tie-in, we will give you a check for that equivalent amount of money. Yeah. That would be fucking what insane if that was true. Even... That's why nobody speedruns this game, because they want to have as much money as possible. Yeah, Holy fucking shit. Luigi's Mansion he broke didn't the code. do that. <laughs> yeah, that's true. If I go to the He's bank with my the save file, they legally have to give me the money. Yeah, exactly. That's why I go to uh, Harvard University. <laughs> yes. Where they don't where they don't teach you about hawks, by the way. <laughs> really fucked up that that's that's instead that, I, I can't believe over this that was either. like a real conversation we've had. Yeah, no. The first time I met Sabrina, she walked up to me, pushed me over, said, "What's up, Xlax?" And I've been afraid of her ever since. <laughs> I believe it too. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Sabrina, that says no, a lot about your character. Happened. That's not what happened. No, no. No, we, we, no, no. That's historical yeah. revisionism. <laughs> Me and Sabrina first met because I was wearing like a Marvel shirt, and we started talking about Stan Lee together. Yeah, and I was I was wearing a Green Lantern shirt, which was like yeah, that was it. And, uh, and Eric, Robbie, do you remember? <laughs> Robbie, you were saying Hawkeye is one of the most creative characters I ever think. Like, who would have thought of that? <laughs> we never thought like you know. <laughs> Right, just let me know when you're when you stop recording. Robbie, Robbie, it, was that really a bit? Yeah, of course it was a bit. Eric, do you remember that um, when you were talking about Stan Lee when we went upstate together? Um, no. Uh, refresh me. <laughs> oh wait, what I what I wanted to uh, see right, in Endgame? <laughs> yeah. Oh yes, yeah. Okay, so I think that um marvel will get to a point where they are like we don't have to do anything good anymore everyone's gonna see our stuff so my my idea was um loosely if i remember correctly like at the end of Inf uh, infinity war this was before endgame came out where i was like they beat thanos and uh stanley comes out of the sky like in clouds <laughs> And he goes, hello, super fans, you've just defeated the big purple guy. And they go, who, 
who are you? And then, uh, no, Spider-Man says that. And then he goes, hello, Spider-Fans, I created you. And then he's like, everyone's like, what? And he's like, you have defeated him, but you must look out for the big purple guy. And they go, we just defeated the big purple guy. And he goes, no, not Thanos, Galactus, super fans. And they go, Galacta who? And then that's like their version of setting up um, Galactus. <laughs> the most lazily stupid shit <laughs> was like my idea of like they're gonna do this because they just don't give a shit anymore. I just love the idea of a giant Stan Lee coming out of the sky and saying Excelsior. Yeah, then when he yeah, that's right. I think it ends with uh, with him going now now do what you do best, uh, you super friends, Excelsior, <laughs> and he kind of like goes back in the clouds. Alan Moore. Come and on the show. Fan of Let's Play channels. <laughs> come on the Alan show. Alan Moore, please come on the show, please. Alan You're a Moore wizard would and I talk you. about magic and and crazy stuff. Oh no, Al Alan Moore would talk about Whoa. magic. He'd talk about anarchism, and he'd talk about like Ducktail comics. Like he'd just be like, you know, Scrooge McDuck never actually did this in the comics created by. <laughs> <laughs> if I created Ducktales, it wouldn't be a fucking show on Disney. <laughs> You know, Don Rosa was never properly credited by Disney for either the DuckTales <laughs> cartoon or video game. Which is sort of a perversion of, a you know... A perversion of my, my vision. Scrooge picked up is really an anachronism. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great impression. So, here's here's the little setup. So, Alan Moore has to go to Gilbert Goffrey to get um, the rights so that Gilbert Goffrey could... Um, voice uh an alan moore character i don't know who the, the gilbert godfrey kid what what no i was saying get to voice act he's, he's oh, oh i see alan moore is trying to convince gilbert godfrey to voice act one of his characters in an audiobook or something like that so that he can make money okay you know gilbert i've been a fan of your work for a very 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 long time now you know, when I was writing Watchmen, I originally based the character of Dr. Manhattan with his blue skin and abnormally large genitalia on my perception of you. Wow, that's great! <laughs> Where do I sign, Gandalf? He be sucking, he be fucking, he be sucking. <laughs> that's the Dracula theme song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Francis Ford Coppola's Dracula, it's just Sabrina doing that over and yeah. over again. Keanu Reeves is like, it's Keanu Reeves and fucking, what's his name? Um, oh, Winona uh, Reiner and Gary Oldman. Gary Oldman, thank you. Character actor Gary Oldman. Character actor Gary Oldman. Well, why can't our, our silly ideas be real? Oh wait, no, I uh, actually have lost my mind. Did I go the wrong way? Did I make a wrong turn at Albuquerque? I might have. Oh man, well... I just might have. I really thought that for the longest time, like when Bugs Buddy, like Bugs Buddy, or would say that or something like that, he was like, "Oh, wrong turn, to Albuquerque." I'm like, "Is that an island? Is that <laughs> in camp? I don't know. I have the mind of a child. Of a, of a child. I used to know where Albuquerque. Oh wait, never mind. No, now I do know. Sorry, I was having a. You're lying to me. <laughs> no, no, no. I, uh, I had like a mental lapse for a sec. Do you think that independent musicians who live in New Mexico call themselves Albuquerque? <laughs> <laughs> I sure hope so. <laughs> now that you've said that, I sure hope so. Robbie, you strike me as the man who later in life will own a scented candle shop. <gasps> that would be cool. And if so, and even though I've been the one thinking about this and you haven't, what do you think the name... Oh shit. Yep, I couldn't really do anything about that. Um, what do you think the name of your candle shop will be? Hmm, that's a good question. I don't know if I would do the uh, obvious route of uh, smelly wax, but I think that that might be a good uh, option. Smelly wax is definitely a bold move, and I think it would yeah. definitely get people, like, they'll, they'll pass the sign and they'll be like, what? Smelly wax? Yeah, I think smelly wax would appeal to, like, a younger crowd of, like, hey, I just bought these, it's smelly wax. Yeah, the millennial. Yeah, you have, like, Cause, like, cause... Have, like bad jelly beans jelly yeah beans. And then jelly. Have, like really silly jelly beans and it's like oh i i bought a oh, fart no. candle <sighs> yeah exactly that's all you need to like appeal to like younger people is get something that their parents would buy but give it like a crappy name i'll be a regular candle guy i'll be your regular candle. like it's like 
Imagine it's like just a fucking retail store and I'm just a regular and it's all like, why is it? <laughs> why is it always in the store trying to like, first of all, drinking heavily and also just going up to random people and just talking to them about like what's, what's going on in their life and why are they buying that candle? Well, why is she it's melting more... the candles and putting the wax in her pocket? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, what's your favorite smell in a... Uh, oh, fuck. Now, God damn it. <laughs> you say, what's your favorite smell in a woman? <laughs> no, I... I no, My favorite I was scent of the say, woman is, is the your... one from the movie, Scent of a Woman, with Al Pacino and Chris O'Donnell. Hoo-ha! Whatever that scent is I was trying to make a joke of, um... Eric, what's your favorite smell and why is it uh, cheating on your girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> let's let's do the, uh, the African Mines. That's a pretty fun one. Oh uh, yes, the opening of Uncut Gems. <laughs> yeah, there's more oh people my God, in this can, one. Can you imagine Why Uncut Gems with Scrooge McDuck? That'd be great. That'd be <laughs> <laughs> I can't do oh, a good Oh, this is how I would love me. <laughs> what if, starting June 1st, your house, like, got inches and inches smaller, but no, like, again, no one else notices, no one really cares, but everyone's acting normal, but it grows, like, it literally gets smaller and smaller and things move in and in and closer and closer to you and mm. again no one has any fucking issues about it they're like oh you're crazy but they they navigate it like there's still a big room like everyone still navigates it like there's a big room but like in reality like everything's just squished and squished and by june 30 i'm gonna say 31st there's no 31st 30th 30th it all like slowly expands back like it's breathing what would well, you do? Well, I, I've been I've been working out, so if the house started to get smaller, I'd be like, "Yep, I'm really seeing those gains." But then, at a, at a point, <laughs> at a point, I would definitely be alarmed. I I was listening to a old country song from the 1940s, and you know it's old when uh, they said, "I got a hot date with the cutest girl in these 48 states." <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> oh my God! They said uh, you're gonna get a hot date with someone that just committed a hate crime. Is DuckTales the Dark Souls of Side Scrollers? <laughs> We've said that like three other times. <laughs> <laughs> I think we, yeah, I think we're gonna make that joke every. Uh, someone, every yeah, game someone in IGN is writing that article or wrote <laughs> another article. This game makes you that. really feel like feel Scrooge McDuck, like, it, like an evil plutocrat. <laughs> well, I was gonna say I can't believe it took us this long to come up with this joke, but is there a porn parody of DuckTales called FuckTales? There should be. There should be, and we should make it. We're all filmmakers here. Hey, yeah, the only guys who do like that level of drugs are members of Led Zeppelin and like uh, Fox Radio guys. Well, I would say um. Uh, Hunter, Those guys are blitz. Well, Huntress Thompson did a crazy amount of. Uh, do you know oh, what I'm talking yeah. about? The, uh, oh, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. That publication where he broke down everything he did in a day, and he it was insane. It was, it was like wake up, do cocaine, eat four banana splits, do like yeah, uh, uh, smoke, smoke weed, and drink. Uh, uh, Some white guy has that printed out over, over oh, a drywall, <laughs> like, punching fucking... <laughs> over a punching bag. Drywall. Oh, wait, Webigail says stop. Wait, it's a lady! It's a woman! The snow monster's a... It's a, wo it's a monsteress. Man? <laughs> this monster tried to pummel me. This one, yeah. Bro, 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 bro. Oh, it's how does Webby understand? Webby is empathetic and not a sociopath like Scrooge. <laughs> All he sees is like I could sell this pelt for thousands. <laughs> if you could clone yourself, would you be friends with them or just use them to uh, harvest organs, like extra organs? Interesting. Um, I hmm. would. If I had a clone, first of all, I would hate her. Second. Oh yeah, that's true. I would probably kill my clone like immediately. I'd be like, is this really who I am? Is this really what people see me as? Do you have to <laughs> yeah. And yeah. then what if they like turn to me and they're like, actually, you're the clone, and I'm like, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, am I? I don't know. I don't know. It's like the... I don't know. Spoilers. Wow, that is like a legitimately huge spoiler. Why would you fucking bleep that out? Because it's Take a joke. That, bleep that out. Yeah, wait, oh, that's, uh, What's yeah, the percentage but... of it becoming an evil clone? Oh, that's like, well, I already have yeah. a goatee, so it might be a good clone. <laughs> <laughs> it might cancel out. It might be clean shaven yeah, yeah, for all exactly. we know. I, I was thinking about this also. If you have a clone, you can just send them straight to jail. Where does little dummy dums in this dumb, dumb world? <laughs> I couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was a, tro a uh, quote from a recent uh, 
Uh, yeah, Trump I think uh, Teddy Roosevelt did that. Yeah, we're just dumb dummies. I believe uh, he also was the one who coined the phrase "I'm blue, da ba dee ba da ba." Dee ba dee ba da ba dee do ba dee ba da boo. That was originally the yeah, U.S. Constitution. No, I'm, actually, no, I'm sorry. That was Reagan because he was the one who was kind of losing his brain towards the end. So he was like, I'm, I have a blue house in a blue window. And they're like, no, no, sir, it's a white house. And he's like, da ba da ba da ba. Um, this is Beaksley. Mm. How I dream of you at night. <laughs> <laughs> Robbie, I got a question for you. Yeah? You, uh, you're you with your girlfriend. You have a girlfriend, yeah. and uh, and she asks you. She says, "Robbie, uh, how would you feel about maybe adding someone to the bedroom, if you know what I mean?" Uh -huh. and, and but you say no. You're like, "I don't think I really feel comfortable with that." Uh, yeah. Now, now, what do you do? What do you do now, knowing that she's unsatisfied and unfulfilled in the bedroom? Hmm. I don't know. Asking this. because this is a personal thing. Yeah, yeah no, 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 guy. Um, okay? asking for a friend. Asking for a friend. No. I would get a dick and beginning surgery. <laughs> what I think does that, that is the medical. I think that's the medical term. Yeah, because they. Um, I remember I was reading about this thing in uh, the New Yorker, and there's a there's a guy at the Mayo Clinic who has an entire like a big selection of dicks that you could customize. Okay. If you go there, you can basically pick them out and say like, "Hey, I want this," and they're Price differently, like you have budget dicks at like three hundred dollars, but like the real boutique ones go up to like ten k. Oh wow! So, if I want like the nice like uncut gems, like bejeweled <laughs> Furby kind of dick, <laughs> then you know to satisfy my uh, lovely GF, I think I would do that. I never thought well, I would I'll hear those words, Furby bedazzled dick. Believe that size doesn't matter. It's how you use but it. Quantity is what matters. Quantity of of the sex. Uh, of don't, you, don't you mean quality? No. <laughs> I, I said what I said. I said what I said. It's only fair that the that the guy in the relationship gets to choose the first, you know, partner that's going to be in in the in the soiree, if you will. Okay. Dealer's choice, if you will. But then after <laughs> that, the woman has every right to say the most absurd fucking thing. It's like, okay, yeah, we'll have another girl. That's fine. Next time, I want you in a latex suit. I want five women just peeing on you constantly. <laughs> That's just, that is, that is the only, that's the only. <laughs> you didn't do the gamer jump. Oh, is that, is that where I jump by when I say the gamer word? Yes. Oh. Interesting, now try it. What the <laughs> See you didn't do I it. Didn't, I, I, didn't. Don't, I don't. I don't want to say it. I can. I can't. <laughs> oh no! It's all right. We'll bleep it out. We're editors. Oh yeah. They'll never know. The audience will never know. See if I say this, <laughs> that you can just bleep that out, and they'll never know what I say. <laughs> <laughs> can I? So you have to duck on the duck. Can I? I can't hit him in this. Okay, and I get hit when I'm on top of him. Health. That's great. I'm figuring it out because when I'm on top of him, I still got hurt, which is bullshit. That's what I said about my last boyfriend. <laughs> oh, you've seen fucking Friday, but you don't know who the fuck Michael Barrioli is? I guess not. <laughs> He's in the movie. Oh, well, who does he play? He plays, um, the guy in the car. When they go to the place. <laughs> 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 well, okay. Oh. Well. It ain't over yet. Get ready for the next round. Uh, get ready, gamers. Lube up. We're getting ready for the next round. Lube up and bend uh... over. It's time to get... Ha, 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 ha.